Father God, in Jesus' mighty name and under his blood, we come into your throne room and get in your face to intercede on behalf of Donald Trump and all his followers today in Washington, D.C. And as they go back home, uh, everything uh, is uh, uh, really blood guilt curses that we're seeing all the way around us, you know, a 5G rollout and, and the, uh, the, the tyrannical viral response and the vaccines and... and uh, the, you know the crashing economy and everything that this is these are blood guilt curses from uh, tolerating abortion all these years it really goes back to the early 1960s because birth control is abortion that is where the body count action is and we've been totally ignoring that and so we're helpless before the sods and the boards and uh, we, this has got to stop we've got to treat this like the like the genocide it is Genocide is an act of war. They have been committing warfare on us, encouraging us to commit warfare against our own offspring. Lord, help us repent of this. And then the other stuff will we'll, uh, uh, start to move too. That'll be the dynamite and the log jam. And we can just fearlessly, with our faces set like flint and abortion, Lord. And uh, help us to do that. Uh, that'll be the repentance. The resistance will be the repentance. We just plead for that, beg for that. In, in Jesus', Jesus mighty name, name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for our president. I pray that you bless him, put your shield, your fire, your angels around him. Let no evil come near him, Lord. Yes, Lord. And anoint him like never before with your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Anoint him, Lord, and set a fire in his heart against homosexuality and against transsexualism and, and abortion. Lord Jesus, help him to fight these things with his life. Yes, Lord. Because he stood against the powers of hell. Help him to see how these same powers of hell that attack him are behind all these things. Lord Jesus, use this time, this time of trial, this time of trial to awaken his mind and to awaken his mind against Zionism as well, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That he would stand for you against these, your enemies, and see them for what they are. For indeed they are your enemies, Lord. Your greatest enemies in this land. Yes, Lord. Anoint him and strengthen him. Anoint him, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Give him the strength. The strength of a thousand lions, O Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for giving us a president as good as him and, and a man of courage as he is to fight for us with his own blood and his family. And I pray that no harm would come to any of them, Lord. Yes, Lord, protect them. You would see their courage in standing and be with them. Yes, Lord. Anoint our words this day. Yes, Lord. And where we stand, give our voices strength and projection and reach the hearts of every man that comes to this, every man and woman that comes to this. Yes, Lord. March this day. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for bringing the three of us together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we thank you, Lord, for the work you've done in us, and thank you for your Holy Spirit of truth and of power. Amen. Now use us, Lord, to preach and to model repentance. I repent. I know Rob repents. I know Nathaniel repents individually and help people to catch that. Uh, it's not a virus, but to catch that repentance from us, that they will see that we are sincerely repenting and that if we will humble ourselves before you, Lord, you will, you will lead us out and give us the power to overcome and to resist the devil. God, I agree with Rob and I agree with Nathaniel, we boldly not only repent, but intercede on behalf of, you've commanded us to be thankful in all things, and we're thankful for President Donald Trump, and we ask you to use him, to use him and protect him, and for the people of this country who care about your word, to humble themselves and make the sacrifices that are necessary to do what is right, to abolish legalized abortion, to abolish legalized sodomy, and to put this nation back on a foundation 
or whatever of this nation we can conserve back on a foundation of righteousness so that we will stop uh, corrupting other people, God, yes, Lord. around the world. And so we stand here in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Africa and around the world. Lord, by whatever means necessary, if you have to rip this country apart, if you have to tear us apart, do whatever you have to do to stop us from exporting this evil to other people. Yes. Do whatever you have to do. Yes. Do whatever it takes. Lord, we want to salvage something, but that's up to you. Yes. That's up to you. Whatever it takes to make it stop. The corruption, the seduction, the abuse, the abortion, the genocide. Make it stop, Lord. You have the power. We submit to you by whatever means you choose. But we're asking you, Lord, in that context, unconditionally, make it stop. But we're asking you, Lord, please, temper justice with mercy. Pour out your Holy Spirit on your remnant and use us today in this rally to speak the truth of repentance in love. In Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Let's mount up.